Take two. Hey guys. First off, hope you're doing well. Uh, this will probably be the last tutorial-esque video I do on the lance. And this one's going to be about spiral thrust. Now, this is something I actually misunderstood. But if... I'm sure most of you picked up on it. But if you didn't, this is going to make the ability have a lot more value. Spiral thrust, when you do it... You know, normally, this is how I saw it. I didn't really see it as defensive. I just saw it as go and go, right? You get two hits. You just hit Z, L, and A, and you can fly around, you know, going wherever. However, for those of you with eyes, you'll notice there's a little shield bash before you do it. That shield bash is a little guard point or a counter window. And what it's going to look like if you get it is it's actually going to boost your damage pretty significantly. Right? That looks pretty cool. Now, if I did this anyway, there's another part of this uh, ability I just picked up on as well. And the only reason I really started learning this was because I had to do the lance with Rajang, Rajang, and I was trying to get an S rank, and my god, that took a while. But we got it done, and I'll play it in between some of these and maybe the whole fight at the end. But basically, what this guard point does is it's going to boost your damage significantly, but there's three steps to this. It's not just two, right? So you got one, two, and then three, that stab. Now that stab for me is going to be a little bit difficult to perform on this thing, but I'll try. One, two, five. I guess what I'll do is I'll dodge like forward. One, two, three. And as you're seeing, the leaping thrust is what you're getting. But you don't hit A, oddly enough. You gotta hit X for the leaping thrust on your uh, third attack. It feels a little weird to do it, but that is what they want from you. So one, two, leaping thrust with X. Not A. If you're used to using leaping thrust with A, you get X. But as you can see, your lance is powered up. Now, one benefit I think is no matter what kind of thing you deflect with this guard point, Good job. Whatever you deflect with this guard point is going to buff you up like you would if you deflected a strong guard point versus like a weaker one, right? But what you want to do though, I I feel like this is going to be the go-to for, and I know I said this last time, I feel like this ability is going to be one of the go-tos for more raw lance users. And it, it really does some pretty significant damage. It's not a ton, but it buffs you up. And honestly, it adds a pretty significant amount. So my guy, I'm rocking mostly like Baryoth and Diablo set. I'm thinking if you can somehow get a build going with good attack power and there's a uh, one thing called like devastating blow or something like that i haven't reached that point but that's the next build i'll be trying to go for um i feel like yeah this is the one ability that is gonna really separate some lance users from others i'm gonna start using it from now on over the other one guard point the guard point is very tight but the damage is awesome. The repositioning is pretty damn good. But now we are in that sort of situation where I kind of feel like some people might be like, well, what's the point of Twin Vine now, right? If you're gonna be using this other ability, well, you gotta be able to get up to the thing first, right? Especially in multiplayer. In single player, I feel like Lance's priorities are very different than multiplayer. I feel like tw Twin Vine. I feel like Twin Vine definitely has much more use in multiplayer. I mean, I'm running, uh, you know, high priority target as well, but the monster won't stay on you all the time. 
It's just not gonna happen. So Twin Vine is a better way of staying on the monster and drawing their aggro with, you know, little pokes as you do. Um, but, but yeah, I feel like I completely misunderstood this ability. Um, I don't know how I feel about shield block versus the, the instant one. I, I feel like when I fought Rajang in the arena, um, it very, very, very much could cause me to still get hit by follow-up attacks because after you do your insta block, I feel like you're vulnerable and I don't know why. That's only if it lands though. Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope this works out for you guys and I hope everything goes good. And I hope you find this video useful. And like I said, I don't know where to go with the Lance content from here. I kind of enjoy it. Like, I don't know how much more there's left to really talk about it. I could show other hunts if you were interested. Maybe in the comments, let me know if you enjoy watching Lance gameplay and stuff. Hey, what, what, what do you want to see, right? I think we're kind of hitting a point with Rise where quote spoiler territory is still a thing i mean hell i still haven't done the last boss yet but that's because i'm waiting for some friends um but i feel like at this point maybe people are more interested in seeing some hunts inside i mostly stick to multiplayer i like the difficulty there better it's actually to me more fun the monsters are more tanky so i like the longer fights um but yeah, maybe let me know what you'd be interested in seeing. I'll be making other video game content still, but I'll be always playing Monster Hunter. And you can catch me on Twitch. I know no one loves hearing saying that. Everybody's on Twitch, but I'm on there too, so go fucking find me. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for your time. Have a good day. Have a good night. Whatever you're doing. And hopefully, see you around. Take care. Happy hunting. The arena is waiting for you.